or you can pick a class through the UI and just dump any class call. Question? Okay, there are lots of questions. So, uh, right here up front first. That's really rude. Do you have any intuition about how useful it would be with like Java Snoop? Yes, I have terrible news. Uh, Java Snoop totally won't help you with understanding obfuscated code uh, because you're looking through the methods and they're like, the methods are named A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and the classes are all named something similar. And yeah, it's, there's, yeah. so the, the obfuscation makes the code unreadable. So it, Java Snoop can't help you read it any, any more clearly than that. There's de-obfuscators out there, but yeah, canary mode works. So you don't necessarily need to know, you know, the method, uh, you know, stuff about the method to, to see it go through there, right? So canary mode can't help with that, but in general, browsing through the code still doesn't help too much with the obfuscation on. There's another question back there. Uh, yeah, so I have attached to Tomcat, and uh, just uh, so the question was, um, have you thought about plugging this into J2E? Any J2E? Me. What's that? Me. Oh, J2ME. Yeah. Oh. Um, so yes and no. So I for like the Android JDK has an instrumentation API, but it's different. Um, J2ME, I don't know. If it's going to be, if it's going to work there, but I, I know there's instrumentation options for uh, for J2ME level applications, but I don't think it's, I don't think this will work out of the box. Um, but if if it's, if you can run it in an emulator in your desktop or on your laptop, then it would probably be fine because it's using your your J2SC that's right that's right there. Sure, yeah, like I said, I've attached a Tomcat, um, and all that complexity with all the different class loaders going on, it, it, it makes things hairy, but Java Snoop kind of just comes in at the end, and all that stuff's easy now, because I just, I see all the classes from all the different class loaders, so you can, it's really helpful in debugging, actually, um, so. It, yes, uh, let's talk about that. So it'll be slower. So. Uh, just the eyeball test, I would guess it makes things 15, 20%, maybe 30% slower. Yeah, it, but it's slow. I mean, I don't like it to be that slow. Question? Um, I got a feature request. You know how in IDA you can add comments in line to be disassembled? Okay. Can you do that with uh, your JAD output? Like put some metadata into the output? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, somebody else had a question back there? No? Question? Yes. Uh, yes. So we build a linear graph just straight down. Um, the only problem is if there's two threads, or if there's multiple threads, this will never happen. But if there's multiple threads operating on that data, you'll get the chirps back in whatever order the threads are executing, so it may end up out of order, but it's probably going to be one thread, and it's going to come down in a linear order. So, you know, we can't build like a, well, I mean, the data flow is only going to be a, you know, it's going to be one straight vertex, vertex right, whatever. So it's, it's not going to be a real big graph, but it'll be a graph. Somebody have one here? No? Great, we've whittled the room down to like 12 people. Okay, I guess that's it.